Welcome. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing and component overview of Dwellings of Elder Vale, published by Breaking Games. So down at the table, this is a normal sized game box. And this is Dwellings of Elder Vale. So you can see this is a huge box. And this is the Legendary Edition. So let's go ahead and peel the shrink wrap off. And we can see this box is so full, lids not all the way down. We'll see what happens after we get it unboxed. It's for one to five players, about 30 minutes per player and ages 14 and up. See, we've got 16 playable factions. Long lost world of magical power awaits. Giant monsters roam while dragons, wizards, and warriors battle in eight elemental realms. Fight the beast, dwell the land, and claim the magic. Dwellings is an epic worker placement engine building game with unique worker types, ton of variable player powers, and the ability to customize your tableau of cards. Core gameplay is simple and quick, yet layered with choices, so it's never the same adventure twice. And down here it lists the Kickstarter upgraded components for the Legendary Edition. Let's see what we've got inside. First, important. Please replace your set of eight elemental starter cards with these eight new cards. Correct summoning calls for wizards and warriors. So these are going to replace some of the other cards. So you can see the backs on those. So just our starter cards. Rules of play. So we've got several different booklets here. Starting with the rules of play, showing us how to put the box back together when we're done. So 23 pages, going over all our components, always good to know what we're looking at. Set up for the game, so everything seems to be broken up fairly decent. A lot of good artwork, spacing and so forth. Alternate game modes. Then we have the Ghosts of Elder Vale, which I believe is for the solo play. Going over that different mat. Special rules, so we've got seven pages on how to play solo in addition to the core game. And we have an appendix with an FAQ on the back. 19 pages. Click on over all the different factions. So letting them know the difficulty of each faction, workers, special abilities. And going over each of the different types of cards. So if you have any questions, that's good to have. For reference, magic cards, prophecies, and the deluxe monsters, and legendary monsters. We've got player reference cards. So we have five of those. Going over placing your turn sequence, free actions, and then on the back, going over battle and scoring. Nice to hand those out to each of the players. And then first time setup, showing us how to put everything in our trays. So speaking of trays, we have our two dungeon trays. So go ahead and peel this off so it's just don't see all the glare. Putting our cards and other tokens. So we've got two of those. And I'll we'll just say they feel really sturdy. Nice heavy plastic there. Nice and textured. And we've got some punch boards. So four boards here with their map tiles and various tokens. Take a quick look at those. And these do appear to be thicker than most token boards I get. Pop those out on the small ones also, very nice. And our next one, 
some different tokens, or map tiles, some standees. Third tiles. So very glossy, wonderful looking art. And the final one. Bunch of locations for us to go to. We have our elemental scoreboard. So here's referencing our eight elements. Victory points around the edge. We've got our glory track, the underworld, and orb rewards. And a few stickers to put on our dungeon trays. And just a few more tiles. So our standees and one more map tile. The Ghost of Eldervale for our solo game. Nice art. A bunch of scoring tokens. Just your typical wooden colored tokens for us. All the different colors. And our faction boards. So these are dual sided. So we've got the Atlanteans, go over our meeples. So we've got dragons, wizards, warriors, and workers. With every one, two are going to have special abilities. None of Pirates of Nightmare Cove. Got the Pride of Bastet, the Clerics of the Dawn, the Mosswood Trolls, and the Elves of Briardale, Servants of the Eye, and Rattlings of the Swarm, Wardens of Evenmarch, and Stonehelm Dwarves. And the Fire Witch Goblins. Ember Crush Ogres. And we've got the Cult of the Night Queen. And Shadow Demons. And lastly, the Skyborn Havians. And the Storm Horde. We've got a bunch of our player trays. We'll put everything in there here shortly. I think these just fit on top to keep everything in place. It's nice and smooth. So we should have eight of these. And then tons of tokens. We've got our worker meeples in all the different colors. They actually have paint on one side, or both sides. And our wizards. Very nice. And her dwellings. So here they are, those plastic rooftops. You can see her dragons hiding down below. There we have those close up, the dragons and our watcher meeple. And we've got some resources, looks like some potions. There they are. And swords. Can't make your swords without some tools. Gems. And just some typical standees. So if you're using your standee markers to hold them up. And some orbs. Nice and weighted and shiny. Gold coins. So you can see the fronts and backs on those. And they've got some weight to them. 
and some marble dice. So a whole bunch of nice different colors there. And see some cards we'll take a closer look at. Some more tokens. Thought this was lumber, but it's supposed to be scrolls. And we have two trays for resources. So we kind of have in here what's supposed to go in there. And the spot for the smaller magic cards. Two of those trays. And some more tokens hiding down there. These would be our warriors. And monsters and more monsters. And cards hidden on the bottom, so everything's fitting nicely in there. Another tray that comes out. And some more bass sound bases. Interesting. Take that out. So I'm going to put her in monsters near it. Interesting. See if the purple makes a different noise. All right, interesting. So we've seen pretty much everything except the cards and miniatures. So I'll start putting everything back in the box here. You can see all our tiles fit in here. And we've got our solo components or that miniature tokens, monster dice, and the trove and tactic tokens. Do you have the shape shifter? Nice colors on it. Got a shade in there to really bring out the texture. Looks really good. Then we have a frost giant. And the Mother of Dragons. And we have these starter cards we need to get rid of. And basically what happened was they swapped what the warrior and wizard should have. So if you see your wizard with tools and your warrior with potions, you've got the wrong cards. You should have the cards that look like this. So those were those cards we looked at when we first opened the box. And we can put each of those in with their factions. And we have our solo mode cards. Like I said, without understanding how to play, not really much I can tell you about them other than the artwork's nice. Seems fairly easy to understand what it's supposed to do once you figure out the iconography. So there's those cards. And I've got the one mercenary card for the shapeshifter. And our monster and legendary card. So for the frost giant, see his back ability, the mother of dragons. Now we'll get to the minis on the rest of these here in a bit. The bringer of justice, iron golem, haunting phantom, the death reaper, the golden griffin, the Winged Serpent, the Charging Earth, Ancient Treant, Cloud Spirit, Living Storm, the Arcane Thrasher, Chaos Beast, the Kraken, the Dread Crocodile, the Volcanic Terror, and Demon of Might. Then we got another tray where I'm holding the standees for now. Got all the extra tokens in the bag I'll probably hide underneath this tray. I'm going to put it back in. So then for our main miniatures, we have the Bringer of Justice. The 
and the Arcane Thrasher. Golden Griffin. Haunting Phantom. Volcanic Tear. The Kraken. Charging Earth. Cloud Spirit. Then the Living Storm. Ancient Treant. The Dread Crocodile. Demon of Might. Death Reaper. Winged Serpent. Chaos Beast. And lastly, the Iron Golem. Then we have our player trays. So we've seen everything individually out of them. So here we'll take a look at how it's stored. So like I said, we've got our faction on both sides. So this becomes our lid. And the only important stuff is what's on the bottom. Got our starter card we can hide in here. And then our dwellings, all our workers, dice, and tokens. And during the game, we can put our resources and other tokens in here. So they're all gonna look exactly like that, except different colors. Then we have our two resource trays, which will hold our cards. And I don't know if things are gonna fit in here sleeve, but I don't think this is a game that I'm too worried about sleeving. So that you do need to make your choice for you want your cardboard tokens or wooden, but the metal coins is a definite, definite. Then finishing up our trays with our dungeon trays, we've got our treasure tokens of all eight varieties. So they stack three high in here and our different areas. So for air, take a look at those cards. Aerial Strike, Soaring Pegasus, Arctic Scavenger, Castle, Winged Messenger, a biting Frost, and Wall of Ice. And we have Earth. Our Deep Root Cavern. A Hermit's Abode. Woodcutter's Axe. The Wyvern's Nest. Woodland Fort. And an Oaken Door. And we move over to our Fire Cards. The Arcane Inferno, a Flaming Sword, some Catapults, Phoenix Fire, of course our Brass Door, then over to our Water Cards, the Brewery, Siren Song, the Bay of Sharks, Sunken Ship, and a Vortex. Then we have Light. The Crystal Ball. Houses of the Holy. Enchanted Broadsword. Lighthouse. 
in the threshold. Then we'll go into darkness, entomb, necromancy, desolation, cloud of death, and death's door. And for order, Academy of Lore, Elder Atlas, Grand Armory, and our engraved door, and lastly, Chaos. Elixir of Madness, Floating Eye, and Temporal Flux, Unstable Portal, and our Astral Gate. And of course, this is where our stickers ended up, so they go on pretty easily. And that's everything in Dwellings of Elder Vale. So back up top, you can see everything fits back in. And our gap that we started with looks like it's going away. So I'll put our lid back on. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. As I try to press this down. Thanks for watching.